We were just two brothers from a Christmas tree farm in northern Michigan. And uh, last week of May, first week of June, at the great French Open, I'm playing in my very first French Open championships. And the day before the tournament started on a Sunday, my brother tells me, you know, man, we can win this thing. And I'm thinking, what are you talking about we can win this thing? This is the first, I'm just happy to be in Paris. And two weeks later, the Jensen brothers became French Open champions. And it changed our lives forever. Murphy Jensen. When we got back to the States, it wasn't Tennis Magazine that was looking to do stories on us. It was Rolling Stone Magazine, People Magazine. We were the long-haired, Harley riding, rock and roll playing Jensen Brothers. And they had coined us grunge tennis. And it sold the game of tennis. It sold the game of doubles. You know, I really wasn't prepared for the attention that my brother and I then got. The temptations that are out there when you get success, there's nightclubs, there's parties. I remember being invited to the Playboy Mansion on a number of occasions. That lifestyle, as I have realized, is my way of coping with the attention. Now comes the Murphy Jensen saga. First, he slept through a qualifying match at Nottingham the week before Wimbledon. Then yesterday at Wimbledon, he disappeared after failing to show for a mixed doubles match with Brenda Schultz McCarthy. I started missing some of the events that I was scheduled for. I found myself drinking to excess and then eventually using drugs. I had so much fear of being found out. I had so much fear of losing and affecting and hurting the people around me as a result that I really kept it a secret. The game changer was the US Open in 1999. My son was being born during the tournament and just the pressure of the game, the work, the life. I remember wanting to jump out of a window. Luckily, I didn't do that. Instead, I shut the whole world down, family, friends, anybody that cared about me. And I was in a hotel room on Sunset Strip. And instead of the, the manager of this hotel calling the police, he luckily called an interventionist. And that interventionist um, asked me if I'd be willing to get help. And uh, I got it. I have continuous long-term recovery since June 1st of 2006. I attend support group meetings. I have mentors and teachers. It really is the centerpiece of my life. I'm now the co-founder of a healthcare technology company designed to prevent relapse from drug and alcohol addiction. We've been featured in Forbes magazine. Our company won TechCrunch Seattle. And then we went on to a thing called TechCrunch Disrupt. And walking on that stage with my co-founders and being announced as Murphy Jensen, co-founder of WeConnect, a technology company that's going to help people struggling with drug and alcohol issues and behavioral health issues, without question was one of the greatest moments of my life. That there is more that I can do out there beyond hitting forehands and backhands and rock and roll tennis. But what I hope to be remembered for isn't winning tennis matches. I hope to be remembered for someone that helped people, that did some good things, that had a lot of fun.